Hello, hello folks. I found this really weird and interesting piece of kit right at the uh, back of this cupboard, at the back of um, the back of my office the other day. I've done a little bit of research, and it seems uh, the company seems to have something to do with counters, timers, and encoders. It looks like a really large, massive PC cabinet. Um, Initially, I thought it was a server. Maybe you guys know what it is? Possibly. Let's go and have a look at it. Follow me. So, here it is. Here it is. It's obviously been languishing at the, um, the back of the office for donkey's years. And this, this part of the... I think this part of the building has been owned by several different companies. If you go that far back so it is massive now i wanted to i wanted to put this um up on the desk it's not an option <laughs> it's not an option um i value my uh, i value my the health of my lower back too much for that but as you can see we'll get a closer look at it as you can see Hengstler Data Mod 8010S. It's big. It's really big. Now, when I did that little bit of research online, this might explain why there's this, this kind of timer button on there. It's got a cabinet lock on it, which you used to get years ago on PCs. The button's missing on there. This could be an access thing for some kind of drive or something, a warning, who knows. That obviously is on. And this does look like a display of some kind. Although it could just be a piece of face here that you, you remove and there's another component there. So that's what's going on at the front. Now what's really weird as well. I know it's bizarre, but when I come across a piece of kit that I really can't identify or kind of work out what its role was for, I'm, I'm just interested. The power cable and what looks to be... It might be an earth cable. Goes into this, and this is really badly put together. And, um, and then sort of sprayed. It's almost like a little project box. Well, it's not little, it's huge. And there's no, again, no identification on here, no panels, nothing else, except this screw. It's like one of them little project boxes you used to get. Could this be some kind of transformer? I mean, for its day, I mean, I think you're looking at the early 80s, late 70s. That could be what we're dealing with. It could be a transformer. And then I'll show you the... What resides around the back? You can see there is a fan. There is a fan there. You've got multiple ports there. So God knows what this does. I really don't know. I don't even think it goes to a display of any kind it does have a plug so are we, are we brave enough to plug this in i think um <laughs> we should give it a go i'm probably gonna short out the entire the entire floor's electrics but we'll give it a go right so there is power going into this thing quite amazing after all these years I'm kind of reluctant to touch that thing because it makes all metal and seems to have been put together in somebody's garden shed. Uh, shall we touch these buttons? So that's your lock. What's that do? Okay. Uh, here's the timer. No idea. 
Do you know, I don't even know if this this hooks up to a display device or anything else. So yeah, problem is doing all my research, it's in German. This company is obviously a German company. Um, it's weird. It was obviously monitoring something. Um, I doubt it was phone calls because there's no sort of no kind of cables that I recognise on the back. Um, maybe it is a server of some kind. I doubt that though. And you'd have thought that fan would be running. So yeah, just a quirky little find that I wanted to share. Um, I do like it when you come across these things. You've got absolutely no idea what their purpose was for. But that box on top is really funny. You can see the finish on the paint. You can or you can't. It's like someone sprayed it with a spray can in their garage. It probably is just some kind of put together transformer. I reckon that's what that is. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Back again, even though I said goodbye. Yeah, I'm going to do another video on that because, uh, to be honest with you, I'm dying to. I'm actually dying to open that up. So what I'll do is I'll um, I'll get a friend to help me lift that up onto my desk, and. Um, we're going to crack that open and see what's see what's in there, see what's going on. I'm really intrigued to see if it can be linked up to a to a display of some kind. I doubt it though. I doubt it. I think it's some kind of glorified analog counting machine. And also, I want to crack open that um, what I believe is a converter. I'm pretty sure it's got to be a converter of some sorts. Um, but just imagine that in today's today's workplace having a power converter with no no symbols on it nothing at all no health and safety uh, just a just a obscure metal box obviously it's been hand painted in someone's shed so yeah I shall return because I'm dying to get inside that see you later